friends, welcome to Pre-Dev Tech. Today, let's talk about the all new spotlight on Mac OS Tahoe. The moment you press Command plus Space, you'll instantly notice a brand new spotlight interface. Right at the top, you'll see helpful hints like Command plus one for applications, Command plus two for files, Command plus three for actions, and Command plus four for clipboard history. Not just a search tool. Let's start with Command plus mind to one, which takes you to your new applications view. You'll immediately see a redesigned app browser that looks and feels so smooth. You can switch between list and grid views from the top right corner, perfect for organizing the way you like it. You can now filter apps by category, productivity, creativity, utilities, photos and videos, entertainment, social, information, health and fitness, and more. But here's something really cool. Your iPhone apps now appear here too. They show up with a small iPhone icon right next to them, making it easy to see which apps are shared across your devices. This is Apple's ecosystem at its best, blending your iPhone and Mac together in a seamless experience. Next up, Command Plus 2 takes you into the all new files view. Think of it as a mini finder inside Spotlight, but faster, cleaner, and more focus. You can browse files in a list or grid format just like before, but now you can filter them by type, uh, documents, images, music, PDFs, videos, and more. It's super handy when you're working on something and just need to grab a file without opening Finder or switching windows. Now, this is where things get really interesting. Command plus three opens the all new actions view. This section turns Spotlight into your personal assistant. You can perform quick tasks directly from Spotlight, like, like playing music, sending a message, writing an email, creating a note, opening calculator, checking calendar, launching maps, um, or even asking ChatGPT a question without ever opening an app. Let's say you want to send a quick message. You could assign the shortcut SM for send message. Now, whenever you type SM into Spotlight, it opens the messages app and lets you send a message instantly. Want to create a new note? Just assign the shortcut N, type it in Spotlight, and your new note is ready without ever launching the Notes app. And it works with mail too. You could assign M to create a new email. Just type M and you're composing a message instantly. This is what makes Spotlight in macOS Tahoe so powerful. Um, you're not just searching anymore, you're doing. And here's where Spotlight really levels up. You can now create your own custom shortcuts using the Shortcuts app. For example, I made Spotlight open Adobe Illustrator whenever I typed just the letter L. All I did was open the Shortcuts app, choose Open App, select Illustrator, and assign the keyword L. Now every time I type L in Spotlight, Illustrator opens instantly. It feels like having your own mini automation engine built right into Spotlight. Next, let's check out Command Plus 4, which opens the brand new clipboard history feature. Finally, macOS now keeps track of everything you've copied whether it's text, a link, or even an image. Now here I'm copying multiple things from the Notes app. From Spotlight, I can choose to paste the second item I copied directly into Chrome, then I copy something new from Chrome and paste it back into Notes. This means you no longer need to depend on third-party software for clipboard history. Spotlight now has it built in, making copy and paste much more powerful and convenient. No more worrying about losing something you copied earlier, everything is at your fingertips. Thanks for watching. You can check out the full video covering all macOS 26 Tahoe features in the description and pinned comment below. Um, if you enjoyed this video or learned something new, please hit the like button, subscribe for more tech breakdowns, and share it with your fellow Mac users.